Good morning! So I don't know about you guys, but the return to the new normal after this whole like quarantine self-isolation phase kind of felt to me like a new year in the sense that like I'm trying to reestablish, hey Iris, reestablish like good healthy habits. I'm getting back into a routine, I guess, where things were sort of sporadic during the whole quarantine. It's not that I was eating unhealthy, but I was eating like really randomly and just like not finding the time to eat and not having like a good balance to my diet. So now that we're all back to work, what I've been doing is experimenting with intermittent fasting. I've done this in the past. I did it before we did IVF. Brad did intermittent fasting for a while and he really liked it too. We don't do it as strict as we probably should. I think technically you're not supposed to even have creamer in your coffee and if you if you ingest any more than like around 50 calories then it breaks your fast. But I feel like both of us still saw benefits even with the type of intermittent fasting that we did. So um, it's always something you should check with your doctor on. I played around with it a little bit before I really went full gung-ho on it because I'm nursing Eloise and I didn't want it to affect my milk supply, but so far it's been fine. So what I like to do when I break my fast is, like your instinct is to just, you're pretty hungry, so your instinct is just go for something that's delicious and gonna fill you up. But what I've been doing to break my fast is doing like a, a smoothie. And that helps me get vegetables and fruits and like not go crazy in the pantry if I'm home. If I'm at work, it's really easy to take a smoothie on the go. What my smoothie has been missing for like the last two or three years is a good green. And I've searched high and low for like a good powdered greens that I could add to a smoothie. And I am 100% sold on this. So I'm working with Teamy. They've sponsored this video, but I am obsessed with their greens. They are a great company that has all kinds of different health related products. They have teas, they have face creams and masks. So check all of their stuff out, but I'm specifically really excited about their greens. It's a superfood blend that has 16 different superfoods in it. It looks like this. You add it to your smoothie. You can actually just add it to water or add it to tea. It doesn't have a very strong taste. It definitely doesn't taste bad. So when you put it in a smoothie, it just sort of blends in, especially if, if you have something like a banana, that's really gonna take over the flavor and you won't really taste this at all. But it adds all kinds of good stuff to either your water or your drink or your smoothie or whatever. It has kale, it has matcha, it has spirulina, it has wheatgrass, and nothing else added that is going to add like sugar or anything processed. There's no dairy in it, which is important for me because I'm dairy free for Eloise. It's vegan, it's plant-based. Like this is, this is legit. And you guys know how much I research things. I probably spent hours trying to find a good greens powder that I could add to my smoothies. This is it. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's an incredibly easy way to add vegetables into your day without having to like prep vegetables if you're low on time. You know, on the days that you're not gonna be getting a lot of vegetable intake, this can help make up for some of that. So check it out, I'm a huge proponent. If you're trying to get healthy again, if you just wanna add some like good quality nutrition to your diet, this is what you need. Teamy has also been very generous to offer our subscribers a 25% off discount. So use code BNR and you'll get 25% off your entire order. So check it out in the description box below. Thank you, Teamy, for sponsoring this video. On with the vlog. Good morning, Junebug. Have you ever heard of Gillian, uh, Gillian's, Gilligan's Island? Yeah. You look a little bit like Gilligan with that hat on. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do today? I want to swimming pool. You want to go in the swimming pool? Yeah. Okay. I think we can make that happen. Let's see what baby Eloise wants to do today. Baby Eloise, what do you want to do today? Go back to jail? <laughs> thank you, thank you. That was Lindell's when she was almost a year old. Yes, Lindell wore that when she was 12 months. And Eloise is not quite eight months. Good job, buddy. And Bear has to go poop.
be under the sofa. We're all enjoying some oatmeal and pineapple. Eloise is grooving, moving and grooving. Go girl. Oh. She's tired. Go girl. Go girl. Woo! Woo. Go girl. Get after it, it's Eloise. It's so easier to feed them when they're sitting in a chair. Oh, no, no kidding. Go girl. Yeah. What am I doing? You want to dance like Eloise? Yeah. Okay. Go. Do what Eloise does. Go girl. Go girl. <laughs> Woo! Go girl. Go Blue Bear. Go, Go girl. Bear. Go Blue Bear. Go Eloise. Go Boo Bear. Go Boo Bear. It's called the Eloise. The Ella Beth. Okay, too crazy. So she can not only dance, but she can eat while she's dancing. That's, that's pretty advanced for seven and a half months. Probably not you want to dance? Yeah. Go, girl. Woo! Go, girl. You used to be a pretty darn good dancer, Lyndall. Not that you aren't now, but when you were around Eloise's age, you could. Eloise's age with a pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. Good thing if she's changing. <laughs> she's so nice, buddy. Mm. Oh. That was so sweet. <laughs> right? Just the lens. Right on the lens. What's in there? What's in there? Uh, uh, kiss it. Okay. That's better, yeah. Mm. Kiss the display. That was so nice. Let me kiss this. Okay, kiss it. Mm. Say I love you. I love you. Oh, she hugged the camera. That was so nice. I'm gonna hug the camera. That was just like you when you were about her age. Yep. Standing in front of the I'm mirror. Saying I love I'm myself. Look at my flowers. Did I ever talk about my flowers? No. <laughs> Brad sent me these flowers at work on Friday. They're gorgeous. I'm so long. I'm so long. They're in there, so we're picking out swimsuits, our swimsuit of the day. I have them just piled in here. Oh, this one, this one. Which is somewhat of a mistake because they're accessible and Linda loves pulling them out and looking at all of them. Is there blood on that one? The window down there, the window is. This is the, oh, it's just dirty from bear wearing it yesterday. This one. So, this one. You wanna wear that one? Yeah. There are. I feel like there's a lot of swimsuits on Thread Up. I look like I just woke up. I guess I didn't wake up too long ago. There's a lot of swimsuits on Thread Up that are basically brand new. I don't know if it's that swimsuits don't get used as much as regular clothes, but you can find a lot of toddler swimsuits that are like very non-worn. This one literally has the tags on it still. Oh, there's Mama and Bumpa. Um, but this is they, like all of these rash guard type swimsuits have UV protection. I shouldn't say all of them. All of the ones that I've purchased. They bring them back our golf And a lot of them are, like I said, in really great condition. Like this one's really cute. They are or they're not. I'm pretty sure I got all of these on thread up, which is. A much greener way to shop, and it saves you a lot of money. Not sponsored. Look how cute that one is. Oh wait, which one are we gonna wear? I'm. I think this little lady's gonna have a green thumb. I think so too. She loves watering the plants, don't you, Lyndall June? Yep. Oh, we're trying to add some warm water to the pool because it rained a lot yesterday afternoon, and it's freezing. Kids don't seem to mind too much though. Yep, there's a bug. You don't like this song? Girl, go Eloise. Go Eloise, go Eloise, go. Go girl, go girl. Woo! Got a little. Good job, mommy! Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Got your own personal cheerleader. This is great. Man, kind of watermelon's hard sometimes, but if you have the right encouragement, it's a lot smoother. How is it? Good. You guys want to sit in your chairs over here? Cheers, guys. Happy Memorial Day. Cheers. To all those men and women that 
gave the ultimate sacrifice. Doing good out here? Good. So we're marching down to the garden. We haven't checked it for a couple of days. Let's see what's growing. Look at that perfectly mown, mown lawn. Perfectly mown? Mowed? Mown? Mowed. Mown. Trimmed. The lawn is mown. <laughs> Look at that! Yay! That is a thriving garden. What is it? <laughs> What's it going to be? I don't know. Look at all of these! I know, those are all the melons. Holy cow! I know. Um, what are those things? I don't know. Those <laughs> are the zucchini. You. Yeah, those already had leaves when we right, planted Those were a seedling Something's already. Something's growing right there too. Yep. It's probably just a bunch of weeds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that much faith in us. That looks like something. This is getting sun right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. We thought it was just the afternoon, but right. it's getting pretty good sun. Yeah. Yeah. This is fun. This is great. Okay, now I need to go to the store anyway to get a filter, so I'll get some chicken wire. Perfect. Protect it from the deer. Yep. Yum. Lunch time. Lunch. Yum. And I need to get milk and king corn. No. Nope. Yum! We got water! Got a nice lunch companion. Hi dear. Hi dear. You're a good boy! Is he a good boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The joys of home ownership. So our AC unit is just really condensating and it's like dripping from the bottom. So might have a little leak or something here. Had to, this one's above my head. I'll have to call somebody and see if we can get them to fix it. Super easy recipe I've been doing lately is pumpkin seeds. Wow, that's hot. I buy, our kitchen is an absolute disaster. Look at this. I buy pumpkin seeds in bulk on Amazon, so I can leave a link for this below. And they're good to add to salads and stuff, but then I had the idea the other day that you could roast them just like you do pumpkin seeds when you carve a pumpkin. So I just put some Tuscan herb olive oil on them and salt and pepper and bake them for like, I don't know, seven to 10 minutes at 350 and they're delicious, especially on a salad. And they're supposed to be really good for breastfeeding. My friend Colleen told me that. They're like, they have all the nutrient density of nuts, like sunflower seeds, but they're less greasy and supposed to help with milk supply. Very nice. Which yeah. Eloise loves. You're in a swimsuit. Yes, I am. <laughs> Why, why, I'm... Vlogging about in a swimsuit. <laughs> so just got out of the pool with the kids, had a wonderful day. And in true holiday weekend fashion, we have to smoke some salmon. In addition to the salmon, we're doing some corn on the cob, zucchini, squash. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be really good. Hey, Rio. Well, who needs to call in the reinforcements when you have a father-in-law like Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying, what, what? None of it was glued together. Are you serious? Yeah, I just started goofing with it and, and all of the fittings, all of these, I took that out of there and cleaned it out. Cause that, this wasn't glued into there. 
Jeez. But it was actually dripping there, starting to. Oh, jeez. I just glued that one and that one, so now I'm getting ready to, this one goes here. It wasn't glued in either. What the heck? So the, the only thing is that they make, I think, different glue for PVC pipe, and yeah. this is a different, what they call schedule or grade or something, uh, white. Yeah. so I'm not 100% sure I have the right glue for what I'm doing, but it just is the drain off, there's no pressure, Right. so I think it'll be fine. If you were under pressure, like running water lines and stuff, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to do this. Gotcha. But we'll be alright for this. You helping, Bear? Good job. Good job, buddy. All right, so hopefully that'll do the trick. And then we got these guys. Yeah, but let's see your hand, Junebug. What were you doing? Bear, let's see your hand, buddy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a little dirty. <laughs>